we're all truly blessed at the same time to have a leader like President Trump, who is a builder. We pray for our leadership, our president, and we pray for our country. Praise for President Trump from the CEO of Goya Foods, sparking calls for a boycott from liberals. Imagine that. But that CEO refusing to apologize. Here with reaction, Trump 2020 campaign senior advisor Corey Lewandowski. Corey, like the top three inexpensive meals in this country for families, you have barbecue, you have pizza, and you have tacos. There is no way the American people are not going into the grocery store, that little Goya taco kit. They're not boycotting that. That would be like me boycotting hair gel. You know, you know, Jesse, look, I hope every person who supports this president and loves their country goes out and buys some of their products. You know, this this guy, the only word that comes to mind for me is cojones. This guy <laughs> stood up to the left, right? I don't know Spanish, Jesse, but I think that means the guy's tough, okay? <laughs> and what that means is when he went and saw President Clinton, uh, I'm sorry, President Obama at the White House, he was praised, he was jeered, he was a CEO that everyone should admire and respect. He goes and sees President Trump in the Rose Garden, and all of a sudden, you know, the left want to boycott him. This is the hypocrisy of the media, and I think the Trump train is going to come through, and Goya's profits are going to go through the roof because of it. Yeah, I mean, if you look around out there, I don't think Americans are giving up any meals, if you know what I mean. This reminds me of what Kanye West said the other day, Corey. He was talking about how the Democratic Party uses threats to coerce minorities into staying in the Democrat camp. And this is what that is again. Instead of persuading uh, minority business owners with results or words, they're trying to go after their bottom line with intimidation. That's because the liberals have failed the minority community, and so they have to keep them in line with threats like this. Well, Jesse, there's two approaches always. There's the carrot approach and the stick approach. And the Democrats always want to use the stick, which is we're going to go after you if you even step out of line or you have an independent thought. Here's what the president has said. I'm going to deregulate the government so you can grow your business regardless of how you own it. I'm going to have empowerment zones, so we're going to put more money into minority communities. This president uses the carrot. It's two very different ways of doing things. We know the president's way works, but if you're not on team liberal, you're not on team AOC, you're not on team hate Trump, then we're going to use the stick against you and you'll be penalized for not supporting the Democratic line. Yeah, Corey, and I think they're scared because the president's making strong inroads in the Hispanic community. He's up 10 points to where I guess he was against crooked Hillary. Biden's losing support with Hispanics, so they have to use these types of threats in this boycott movement. Cancel culture, Corey. That's what this is about. You've been canceled before, haven't you? You're always getting canceled. Jesse, it looks like that we canceled your tie tonight. Look, Rudy and I are the only guys who bring any class to the show. Between you and Bannon, you couldn't find a tie tonight? You guys got canceled on the tie. Sloppy waters, that's what they call me. No good, Jesse, no good. All right, I'll try to clean it up next week. Corey Lewandowski, everybody, thank you. Thank you.